So my goal was to fix my monitor. Um, I thought it could be very difficult because I have this the symptoms where um, once I turn it on, it will um, remain on a few seconds. Let's give it 30 seconds and then start. Um, it, it will shut down and give the sense of something was burning. So I was up to get a new monitor, but of course, first I'll um, do a small um, search on YouTube how to fix a monitor, and I find out a very nice video which uh, I will recommend later where. The guy, IT guy, said that most of the time it's um, the uh, source sor uh, source power, the supply power. So I decided to give it a chance to my monitor and try to fix it. So I heard, um, you know, just pull it apart and see what you can find. So I'm gonna show you what's the what kind of monitor is this one. It's a gateway. Um, this is the uh, the model. Let me see if I can give a bit shot of the model and product. So it's a. Oh my God! This camera is not that good. The same. Get closer. So it's a model twenty one zero zero product number F P D twenty one eighty five W. So it's a 21 inch 85 watts probable or something. But anyhow, um, this one has been pulled apart. Take all the screwdrivers off and all those these pieces um, were left. So now I'm gonna move and show you what's um, what was inside and show you what's wrong with it. So as you can see I'm not a IT guy, I'm doing all this over <laughs> my uh, dinner table and um, you know the other piece where it just up <laughs> over my couch so this is what I found um, this piece was upside down and was right here with uh, you know all these cables are they were just right here and this one is just where you connect the source and it was in this little hole so anyway anyhow so this guy from IT suggests that most of the time are the big um, the middle size uh, capacitors they get a bump on top so I just noticed that it's really hard to make it make it notice through the camera but if you go over and touch them it's like a like he said it's flat but once I touch this this is flat as well but this one has a little bump and this too this too uh, this as well this barely but I'll I cannot distinguish between a in this one uh, if it's in between flat and bump and, and with a bump this has a bump. So I'm gonna replace those five. This two, this two, and this one. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm heading out stores, ready shagger, you know, the electronic um, store or something, and get those. Um, I just wrote down the number. Those are. Let's see if you can, if we can see the number. It's a 470 micro. Faraday, so 25 volts. He also suggests if you don't find that specific voltage, it doesn't matter, just get a little uh, one that is above that number, one up number, or and you will be fine. So, if I made this work, if I make this work, uh, and I post this and see if other people. Uh, find the same problem this video uh, could be helpful so well uh, I'll see you later Hi. 
as I stated, I went to Radio Shack and now I'm trying to put these capacitors in the right place. Um, as you can see, uh, well, not that right, but uh, those are these blue, this intense blue, the bluer ones are the newest. I'm trying to put my head out of um, light. Uh, so it's a 47 microfarad, 470 microfarad, 35 volts. Whereas this one are 25, so apparently it should work. So I exchanged like a few of them. And um, now I'm gonna show you if this work. I'm gonna post it and post it online on YouTube and see if it makes some sense for somebody else that have had the same problem. So I'll let you know in a minute. Huh, it has been a long time, so let's be patient. I'll keep you posted when it's done, okay? So it seems like after changing the capacitors, this thing worked. So here's my baby, I'm monitoring my baby. So I haven't closed it totally, the frame is still off, but you can see um, from those that you have the FDP 2185W, this side must be familiar to you, so hopefully this is uh, a helpful and encourage you, you to fix your monitor by yourself. <laughs> this is awesome. Well, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.